everybody, Cindy here with Grom Sewing Machine Company, and today is our Friday Foot Frenzy. Um, thank you for coming back if you have been following us. Today the foot that we're going to showcase is going to be our beating foot. And the beating foot is an embellishing foot. And we have a little sample here with some decorative stitches, but you can see where we've sewed down the beads. The beads you can put around a jacket, just about anything. Behind me, we also have one of our instructor, Barbara's, uh, foot quilt. But the beading work on it is absolutely beautiful. I am using our Juki DX2000 sewing machine, which is a wonderful machine. Uh, but we do carry the beading foot in the Janome line as well as the Foff line. The thread that I'm going to use today is called Invisifil. So the thing about doing beadwork is you want it to look as natural as possible. You don't want the threads really showing unless that's the look that you're going for. So my Invisifil thread is an 80 weight thread, I believe. I take it back, it's a 100 weight thread. And it's an actual thread, so it lays nice and smooth. Most people, when they do beadwork or applique, this is their go-to thread. And this is, this is an okay thread. This is a monofilament thread, so it's clear. But it is a little bit harder on your machine, and that's why I prefer the Wonderfill. So let's get to our sewing machine, and let's see how to sew down these beads. Okay, so one of the things that I would like to point out real quickly is notice how I have extended my beads beyond my fabric. And I do that just so that I have something to hold on to. The other thing that you want to make sure that you've got engaged if your machine allows you is your needle up, needle down function. Okay, I'm using a four millimeter bead and I've got my width set at four millimeters, but I've taken my length to five millimeters long because you want that zigzag, which is the stitch we're going to use, to clear each bead, okay? So I also have a tie-off function set on my machine. That means that when it starts to stitch, it's automatically gonna lock that zigzag at the very beginning. Hold on to your little beads until you get started, and then let the machine, you can see where I'm going backwards here, and now you can see the needle going over each single bead. Now you do want to hold on to your beads just a little taut just because you don't want them slipping underneath the foot. When you get to the end you can select tie off again depending on what you're doing or you can just simply lift your foot, pull out your fabric or just since this is a demo we're just going to cut and there you go. Is that not a beautiful way to stitch down your beads. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and we hope to see you back.